Domestic credit to the private sector is very important for you to have growth in the economy. The banks lend out money to the private sector. This gives a rise or increase in investments. Profits are generated from these investments. These huge, huge profits are brought back for safekeeping in the form of deposits. The banks will have more and more money to lend. If more money is lent out, the private sector will increase in its production. Zambia needs to work on its lending interest rates. If we can implement economic appropriate policies, which will influence interest rates downwards in an effect to encourage borrowers and investors. Commercial banks' average lending rates rose to 26% in August 2019. Nevertheless, we can see that in the period, the demand for loanable funds increased. For instance, domestic lending to the private sector grew by 9% to 36.2 billion kwacha in August 2019 from 32.9 billion kwacha in August 2018. There's a mismatch. As interest rates rise, private sector borrowing increased. Our eyes were closed when we needed them the most. The signal was ignored, but was given. Our economic view is that we were supposed to take advantage of the demand for loanable funds encourage borrowing by reducing the lending rates. It's obvious that there was a spillover from other favorable investment conditions, but still instead of reducing the lending rates, we increased them. We were supposed to encourage production of non-traditional goods, which we export. There was an increase of non-traditional export earnings by 17.2% to 1.1 billion US dollars from 911 million US dollars the previous year. The soil was favorable, but we never took advantage to reduce the lending rates and lend more and more to the producers of gemstones, cement, lime, sulfuric acid, and sugar. Nevertheless, we cannot rule out the effort brought about by the implementation of the National Financial Switch Project. This project will allow universal access to digital transacting. All domestic automated teller machine transactions by the various commercial banks are now being channeled through the National Financial Switch platform. This reduces dependency on cash and its associated risks. On the 19th of June 2019, the Bank of Zambia Deputy Governor, Dr. Walyangandu, formally announced the going live of the National Financial Switch project. The automated teller machine ATM transactions have migrated from the Visa platform to the local platform, the NFS. This is a very positive move in the banking sector. With the NFS, customers will be able to send money or make payments using their phone or mobile devices such as tablets or other recipients, regardless of which mobile network they subscribe to. The other advantage of the NFS is that since it interconnects with banks, non-bank financial institutions, and other payment system service providers, customers will be able to transact from a mobile money wallet to a bank account and vice versa. The establishment of the National Financial Switch started in 2014 as a project, the auspices of the Zambia Electronic Clearing House Limited. This is a company co-owned by the Bank of Zambia and other commercial banks but operates as an independent entity. It was established with the objective of providing interbank clearing and payment services in the country. Prior to this migration, all domestic card transactions were switched outside the country and treated as international transactions and were accordingly priced as such. This will be a major cost and forex save for the country. Debit or credit card holders can now transact on any of the 14 registered banks' ATMs countrywide and their transactions will be switched locally through our National Financial Switch platform. What we're going to do now is to closely monitor if the NFS is implemented and how it brings about the positive results outlined in its objectives. We need to ease the flow of funds. Money should be mobile with adequate liquidity for more productivity.